had me turn on my stomach. <laughs> Hey Stinky, so I'm gonna take you guys with me to like get my hair and stuff done. It has been literally like almost two months and my hair is like absolutely filthy and disgusting. So um, in order for me to feel like that girl again, it is now time to revamp. And I'm gonna wax my vagina, I'm gonna wax my armpits, and we're literally going to be a completely new person in approximately less than 24 hours. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. It's gonna be an awesome journey. I'm gonna touch some toes on the way. We're gonna have some girl talk. And yeah, so go. Yeah. This is what we're wearing. This is the lazy girl. I'm about to do my hair fit. I got my shoes, they're from New Balance. And then these joggers are from Gymshark. And then my top is from the YPB line. And you know, that's what we're doing. I don't know why I did the thrusting thing. Maybe I just wanted to get intimate with you guys. So, you know, I'm about to be on the way, but Florida and specifically Orlando, count your f days because why do I have to drive 30 40 minutes to go to a beauty supply store that's not sitting right with me it's really giving anti-black so everybody's hair looks like it This is what I got, by the way, also at the beauty supply store. This is in the color T30. I have gel at home. I got a relaxer for my edges, and then I also picked up just some hair ties and some extra edge control. I'm a slut or absolute feral. So if you're ever wondering why my edges are still on after I've worked out, relaxer, edge booster. This combination together makes magic. Now, I really don't feel like doing my hair anymore. But you just have to remind yourself, do you want to be a bad bitch? And the answer is yes. So I'm going to take my cute little pink monster. I don't even drink monster. I just got this because I want to be on 12. That was surprisingly really nice. It doesn't taste anything like strawberries though, for sure. It's getting more like tropical. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm like trying to film like a video for TikTok and YouTube at the same time and like this is difficult and trying so cut me some slack please Okay, so I have taken all of my hair out. It is disgustingly dirty So, fun fact, right, I like always like had a big forehead and when I was in high school, I was like, okay, well like I want edges because that's when like edges started to become like a really popular thing. And so I didn't have any baby hairs, so I cut my own and relaxed them and you know, I've been doing that ever since. So, food for thought. Plus, it also just like hides an inch worth of my forehead. So now my forehead doesn't look as large because it is, you know, it's quite large, so. Unfortunately, for me, especially when it comes to the back of my head, it's one of the things out of sight, out of mind. You know, I don't see it. If I put enough twists back there, you're not going to see it. And no one's about to sit there and try to analyze through my hair to see if my parts are good. Okay, so I have finished one half of parting my hair. Just some quick tips, right? I do five sections on each side. And like what I like to do, and I'll kind of show you, I will part the middle section of one side and then I will clip it away. And then I will get the bottom section and then take another one of the little clip things and section it off. So now I have all of this filler hair in the middle. So what I'll then do is I will just take, because this is one section, this is two sections. Now I need to have three more sections on the side. I will just sit there and find three even sections. Once I have a section, I will just braid it off and then clip it. Now I'm left with the last section. And because it's at the bottom, I'll just go ahead and braid it away. And then I'm going to start at the bottom of my hair. Really, the only parts that matter are the first...
eight in the middle. The rest of them, out of sight, out of mind. Okay, so you don't have to make it too difficult when you're doing that. Take some gel, put it on my hand. I will unclip that initial section. I will literally just come down just like that. See the line? Make sure it's like relatively straight. Put some gel on it and then I do the rubber band method so that, cause like that's the easiest for me. I don't have any grip. And then I'll just rubber band it away. I have parted like the first three sections on this side. Now what I do is instead of hitting this section next, I will go to the middle section so that I can line it up like perfectly with this section on the other side. It just gets me the nicest parts because I really only care about the parts over here and then like this section I'll be able to to align it off of those parts and that's what I want. We have parted it all finally so now I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna grab some food and then I'm gonna get started with the twisting. Now I went out to go get this food and I again like I'm not big on going out in a bonnet like that's not my thing but like I, I don't have any hats. I live in Florida and I never wear baseball caps because I always have twister braids in. This is 68 inches pre-stretched, which means this is going to touch my butt. And that's exactly how I want it, okay? Because it's the hot girl summer, baby. I want to do a section like this big. That's about one inch. And then I kind of just like lay all my pieces out like right here on my dresser. I just grab one of the bundles that I use for the curly pieces and I literally just cut it right off the weft. And then I'll split this up into two or three pieces depending on how thick I want it to be. And then I'll just go ahead and set these aside so that I can just quickly and easily grab it when I put it in my hair. Like I look like someone's mother. Okay, so we're gonna take our sections and then you're gonna take your hair gel. I'm using the braid formula super hole conditioning gel and then I'm gonna get a little piece and I'm gonna place this on the center of the hair. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of gel on this piece. I braid my hair and I don't twist it in. I don't have any grip. So kind of grab it like this and then I literally just start braiding it in using this strand as the third strand in the braid. And then as I'm doing this right, I'm gonna go ahead and take one of those curly pieces that we talked about. I'm gonna put this in the back of the braid like this and make it a part of the strands of the braid and then just casually continue to braid it down and then I'm gonna grab the piece I'm gonna flick it up I'm gonna grab one of these little clippy things and then just let it do its thing up there while I continue to braid down and then once I braid down far enough which is about like right here I like to just combine my hair with the braiding hair by using gel and then just start twisting baby I'm twisting the hair while twisting it around the other hair. You see I'm twisting it and then twisting it around the hair. This is our first twist and then what I like to do I'll take a crochet needle I'll grab another strand of the hair. I will place the crochet needle through the twist. Grab the hair clip it through. See now I have this cute little loop here and I will literally just grab it like this and pull it through the loop and then take your nail glue and I just glue the knot and I pull and I'll blow into it. I just sucked in chemical fumes so be careful with that. But yeah, now look, curly piece here and a curly piece here. <laughs> Just a little tidbit, right? So if you don't want to focus on the back, use like extra hair. And instead of doing a one inch section, I'll do like a one and a half or a two inch section back there to try to fill up the area so that people can't see how up the parts look. Right now I'm just moving all of the curly pieces up so that I don't get any of those dipped in the water because then like obviously they will no longer be curly. I definitely like using human hair more than I like using synthetic hair. It doesn't like get all matted and gross. I have a flexi rod and then I twist away from the face and then I just do that all the way around my head. Okay so I'm gonna let these sit in my hair while I clean my bathroom up. Okay big reveal. And this is like if you're using flexi rods, this is like an easy way to undo it. You just like twist it out. It's cool. Let go. Let go. Thank you. Take some foam. That feels so good. This is what they're looking like up close. 
I am so incredibly tired. It is currently 4.04 in the morning. I don't know how I let that happen. We're starting next week off completely fresh and bare. Good morning, guys. The hard part is done. The hair is done. So we're going to get our nails done and, you know, all the other stuff. And we are going to be on our way today. We're up, we're awake, okay? Laundry's doing its laundering. This is kind of, again, like what my hair looks like. You know, maybe in like some daylight so you guys can like really see. I just left the European Wax Center. I wanted to record for you guys, but you can't record in there, so you gotta respect that. Even though it's my vagina, not that I was gonna show you guys my vagina, I don't you think that at all. I gotta show you how she did my butt strip. This lady had me turn on my stomach. Hold up. Right, so imagine that I'm on my stomach now, okay? Right, and this is me laying on the table. She tells me to spread my cheeks and relax my muscles. <laughs> so I'm just sitting there like this, trying to get my anus waxed. Now it is time to wax the armpits, okay? So I'm using this wax beer thing that I saw like Monet use on TikTok. So if you are gonna get this, just be aware that this brand does not go on as smooth as the way that I'm seeing Monet's. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, I don't know. I am going to take cotton pads and a little bit of alcohol and just, you know, clean up my dirty armpit because she's a dirty girl. Oh God. <sighs> oh God, that shit just hurts so bad. Oh God, I'm feeling hot. Hot and, and sweaty. Ah! Oh God. If you don't want to see this, look away right now. It's a pretty good strip right there, baby. And if you're not waxing your armpits on your own, like, what are you doing, okay? Stop paying for that. You don't get yourself an at-home wax kit. Ah! <sighs> See, now look. I know what this one feels like, and now I can't do this one. Ah! Anyway, so that is it for today's video. I want to continue to do this for you guys. I really do. I really enjoy this. I, I, I love the community slash cult that we are, we are starting to make. I need you guys to subscribe, like, support, you know, comment, okay? Because I'm trying to play with each and every single one of your guys' toes. And if you don't want me to do that, you know, just shoot me a text, right? We don't have to tell everyone else that you don't want that to happen. I can touch and play with something else, like your earlobes.